Welcome back, everybody, to Coin6 News at 5. Neighbors are calling us here at Coin6. They're frustrated by this pile of trash in one Portland neighborhood. It's growing. Yeah. What if it was in your neighborhood? They say it's really become a dumping ground. The lot is in southeast Portland at 135th and Herald, not far from Powell Butte. Uh, neighbors called us looking for help. Lisa Balick went digging through that trash for answers today. Lisa, what did you find? I want you to take a look at all this stuff that is alongside the road in this neighborhood, just alongside a piece of property where a family just moved out of this rental. In fact, we found bills that belong to that family as well as personal records in this trash here. It's up to the owner of this property to clean it up. About a week ago, I walked out and I thought, where did that come from? Because Margaret McKnight couldn't believe the mountain of household items scattered in a heap alongside the road by her house. Piles of kids and adult clothing, toys, chairs, tables, and household goods, from kitchen items to mattresses. First thing I see every day, and it's not nice to look at. Neighbor Chuck Hutchcraft told me there was a church-sponsored family of immigrants living in this rental who suddenly moved out. Hutchcraft is concerned the pile's getting worse. Just kind of showed up one day about a week ago, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Both neighbors recently filed online complaints through the city's Bureau of Development Services website. What do you want to see happen? Uh, I'd like to see the owner of the property step up and get it cleaned up, because I think ultimately they're responsible. That's why I looked into city records to find out who owns the property. I called them and then went to their address on record. No one answered the door or picked up the phone. But the head of the city property nuisance division told me the city is now aware of this problem and the owner is responsible for cleanup. Inspectors are in the process of reaching him as well. He'll have 15 days to remove this stuff. Meanwhile, neighbors decided to help out a bit in the meantime. Nobody's done anything. So we decided to get a hold of Channel 6. Now, I want you to listen to this. The city actually has 750 property nuisance cases it's working on right now. Cases like this, people not cutting their grass, abandoned buildings, but they are getting to them, coming out and taking a look. They should be out here tomorrow to see what's going on here. If you have a concern, a complaint, go to the city's website. We have a link at coin.com where you can file a complaint and get action. And don't forget about contacting us as well. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. That's right.